Alright, so I brought it down here to my workshop so I can get a good 360 of the pack. So, this is based off the afterlife. So, there's a bunch of like, uh, I've done this power stuff that runs from here up to the crankcase. Uh, some of the stuff, you know, braided metal hose that's been broken into here. A couple, just like things like this wire nuts on the clamps welding beads it has wood furniture so that's something they did for the afterlife your power switch is here uh, and this was done in the gb1 movie this is vinkman and the elevator scene reaches to this spot on the pack and that's the boot sequence and uh you have V clips here on the side. Let's see if I can get this off. <clears throat> so there is a. You've got several modes you can activate with the. This is uh, your standby mode. You know, this sucks the pack off, so you can actually have it on and not be. See, it's all off and you can turn it on have the switch on and have the pack be off not use as much electricity and then you turn it on from the controller here and since I did base this off since I was you know the code is based off the game so if you switch this up and you mash it'll switch to the different modes that were present in the game in a Christmas mode because why not but this one down and then you have your intensify switch turns the pack off but leaves the wand operational so it's basically like your this is your safety and it'll actually do the full run through and overheat but of course because of uh, when I went to the con with this uh, the con didn't allow um, uh, smoke they wouldn't allow you to have anything that generated smoke they didn't have any vape you couldn't have any vapes so I took the smoke generator out of the pack so the smoke would have come out down here um, if you want an upgrade later, I can easily put that in there. It's only a, a, a five volt relay. Um, uh, uh, just things that uh, I did to the pack, like a personal touch. These relays on the outside that light up, these are actually useful because this tells you, see right now the battery has an ability to supply 10 volts. This actually is functioning. This is your power supply for the pack. Uh, this ties directly to the battery and gives you a voltage readout and then takes the voltage to everything else in the pack. So, uh, and it has a solid aluminum back plate that's mounted in there with, uh, I think it was those 12? No, half inch, half inch lug, half inch lug nuts. Um, two on the bottom, uh, packs all the way through put. There is some gap spacing, but you know the originals had had gaps like this. So, um. oh come on, stand still. I'm trying to I'm trying to look professional here. Uh, uh, brass fittings, real brass fittings. Uh, this and obviously. Uh, they're hard to find, so I have a GB2 ribbon cable. Uh, oh yeah, I, there she is. Oh, uh, some of the sound. Uh, here's a little feature I've hidden in here. This is actually the sound. So this goes up, returns down, actually connects to the sound drive in the system. So that actually is your volume knob.